Hey guys, today we're going to be installing a trailer hitch receiver onto my 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. This is part one of a three video series where we're going to install all the things that we need in order to start hauling our travel trailer. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with KDM Kurt and DIY Collaborative, so make sure to check out their channels and hit that subscribe button. Today, this part is what we're going to install. This is the trailer hitch receiver. It's a draw type, it's, uh, rated for 6,000 pounds and 900 pound tongue weight. Uh, it's got a couple of uh, attachments here so that you can hook up your safety chains. And it's also got a pre-installed mounting bracket so that you can put your four or your seven pin uh, electrical connector here. So what we'll need today is a socket wrench and we need an 18 millimeter socket in order to remove the tow hook that's already installed on the Pathfinder. But then you'll need a 19 millimeter in order to install all these new bolts that came with the kit. Additionally, we're going to use an old toothbrush and some WD-40 in order to clear out those holes just to kind of get them ready so that whenever we're installing the new bolts, it's going to be a lot easier on us. So here's an underside view of the tow hook and you'll see that there's two bolts, one and two on that side. And then there's two right here. We're going to remove all four of those in order to get our hitch on there. And while I'm down here, I'm just going to show you this one, this one, and this one are the holes that we're gonna use in order to install the new uh, bolts in the trailer hitch. Alright, so we're going to put a little bit of WD-40 inside these holes and then use our toothbrush to kind of clean them out and get those threads all cleaned out. Just make sure there's no dirt or grease or rust in there while we're trying to get those new bolts installed. So the bolts come with uh, two washers. There's a lock washer and then this big flat washer. And that's how you're gonna um, put them on in that order. And then you just wanna go in ahead and check to make sure that the holes are threaded properly, that they're gonna seat. Yeah, so that bolt just got started. You just wanna make sure you're doing this with the, the other holes before you're putting your hitch in place because it's a little heavy and you wanna make sure that everything's gonna work as intended. All right, so this is where you're gonna need a couple more hands to lift up the uh, hitch receiver. On the passenger side, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get up and around the muffler, the tailpipe, in order to get it seated properly. And then once you get it in the correct placement, you're gonna grab a bolt or two and just get them started so that you can then fasten them with your socket wrench later. So once you've got your bolts started and, and tightened down pretty well, you're gonna to wanna to use a torque wrench. And for this specific installation, uh, it was recommended that you use 76 foot pounds of torque. So if you'll get that one going right there. And you wanna hear that click once you get it really tight. There we go. You're going to want to do that for all six bolts. All right, guys, thanks for joining us on this first video of the three video series. On the next video, we're going to check out how to install the electrical connections onto our trailer hitch. Thanks and make sure to subscribe.